welcome to Trending brought to you by Airtel. My name is Kim Opera, and of course, this is your one stop show for everything nice and everything spicy. Everything spicy, everything trending, and of course, my name is Pascal. We're going to shop very quick right now when we return. The show, the show continues. continues. Welcome back. You're still watching Trending brought to you by Airtel. And you know this is your one-stop show for everything nice and we always bring the best of the best. Today we have hmm, an OG before IG. Someone that ran so that people can fly. Uh -huh. <laughs> so people that called out the government when people were silent. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We have the one and only Ill Bliss aka Ogabo. Ogabo. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. My welcome. Welcome. Family. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you, man. Thank you. And let's Good get checking. excited now. Yeah. As she introduced you, OG mm. before IG. IG. The ones yeah. that run. The ones that run. <laughs> he even, no, he yeah. first crawled. No, crawled. He, he crawled first. Yeah. <laughs> so some people out. And then he ran so that other can fly. Can fly. Yeah. Yes. We're still talking about this story now. It felt like, see, if you took a break, like a four-year break from music, yeah. but right now you're back. Why did you take that break? Okay, so a lot of things were going on, you know, personally in my life. Personal. Um, I put out my last album in 2020. So it was in May. Mm -hmm. May 29th. It was smack in the middle of COVID. Mm. Mm, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I had a conversation with the host for Trending. Mm. then okay yes and then she said Ili, regardless you need to come in so that um we could have a conversation quickly about your album so i drove down here there's no car on allen mm -hmm. it's empty it was like yeah. holocaust and i came in and we did the interview i remember we were wearing masks and everything mm. and we we're just everybody was trying to be careful you know and i finished the interview and went home you know then i, I was just living down the road in on Toyin street oh, no, i think that was on the 28th May and on the 29th, I was going to. I watched that edition of Trending, and then the night of 29th, um, my wife was pregnant, so she, she came out, you know, when the album had just dropped and gone yeah. online, and just came out and said, Babe, I think my water broke. Aww. Yeah, and Aww. that was that was a five and a half months. Oh, yes, so that was my second daughter coming. So we now rushed off to the hospital. The hospital said, oh, it's about to be a miscarriage. I abandoned that album. Oh my. Beautiful album, Illy Chapel X. That's what it's called. I just yes, abandoned yes, it and just went straight to the hospital. From one hospital to the other, we ended up in another hospital in VI. Um, my child survived, but it was, oh was a lot of drama. You know? yeah. she's, she's three years now. She's, oh, yeah, she's three God. and a half years now. That's my second daughter. And uh, my, first, my first child, Sochi Karima, came after eight years of marriage. Yeah, so we waited for eight years before she came. So two of my kids came into this world very dramatically, mm -hmm. you know. So I took time off to be a dad. Mm -hmm. uh, took time off to, to take it all yeah, in. to just take it all in, you know, and, and sure. you know, try and spend time and raise these kids. Yeah, and that's amazing. All of that was happening, and I was trying to dive, you know, f find diversification as well. Mm -hmm. So I moved into television as well. Yeah. You know, because um, I had done King of Boys a year or so before then, yeah. mm -hmm. and I just felt I needed to produce more, needed mm -hmm. to, you know, to kind of like do more films. Uh, do, no, yeah, do more mm, films, shoot, more, shoot, shoot more, more documentaries, more just documentaries. get into spaces where mm -hmm. I, you know, I could ex still express artistically, mm -hmm. you know, without just without just putting out music. Yeah, without putting out music, so mm -hmm. I took a break. So all of this was happening in the last. This what's been happening in the, the last, last in years. the last four years, and then. Sometime in 2022, towards the last quarter of 2022, I realized it was time for me to put out music again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I went back and I started recording my new album, the one that just dropped. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been up to. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Titi um, came to Nigeria at some point. Mm -hmm. It was a big deal. I think that's the only time he came to Nigeria. It was oh, yeah. a big deal. Mm -hmm. And of course, this particular argument is still being... It's still being... It's still, it's still on. Yeah, it's still yeah. on. It's still you know, on. With, with his mm -hmm. showdown with Abdul... Uh, Idris, 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 Idris Abdul, 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 Abdul Karim yes. as well. But you knowing 50 and you've read his book, you've read some of his book as mm -hmm. well. And of course, you being an OG 
in the industry, all right? It means that you started this thing even before the 2000s, if I'm right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it means that you have an idea of what happened in that day uh, when Nigerian Buris came and called Fiti to come to Nigeria and of course uh, uh, Idris Abu Karim as well. What is your take on the matter? First of all, I wasn't there. Okay. So um, I heard it like everybody did. I heard there was an altercation at the airport over flight seats, mm -hmm. over um, how Nigerian artists were getting treated, you know, and how, you know, I, I heard about it in the, in the media, in, um, in the news. Again, because it's there's so many versions of the story, mm -hmm. and because there are various, various versions of it, I'm not even sure even the 50 Cent remembers the story like like clearly, 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 because his career has grown so yeah. exponentially since then. I feel like maybe Idris's intentions were genuine. I feel like maybe 100%. just the way it was approached might have was not the, been yes. the, the mm -hmm. best of ways. But yeah. I just looked at it like. Every artist, and this is my belief, I've always had this belief, so three of us could be artists, but three of us could speak to a client and have three different contracts. Yeah. So what was in your contract? Mm -hmm. Was it in your contract to sit in, a, in, in business class or see in whatever aircraft you mm -hmm. guys were moving mm -hmm. in? What did you negotiate? What did, what, and whatever I negotiate, I stick to it. I remember back in the day when I was a younger artist, I used to fly economy. And because the, the show promoters then always felt, okay, he's not at that point where we're buying him business class tickets. You understand? So what I'll do is I'll take my own money and go and upgrade the flight and sit in business class. I've always never really been entitled. Never, yeah. I've always felt that- Nobody uh, owed you anything. Yes, I felt like, so negotiate. So from the point of negotiation, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been a, such a mythical story in Nigerian yeah. music history. It's been lingering yes. here yeah. and there, mm -hmm. you know. And I think it's time for us to get over that story. Exactly. And just, you know, take bigger Because it can't strides. even happen right now. But it, the anyway. only of the story People is have private jets story. now. Yeah, it can't even happen right now. Mm -hmm. It can't even happen well, right now. Well, I'm trying now. to stretch my legs. Uh, can, I get get yeah. can I get a jet? Can I get a jet? You know, so like, that's how, that's how Afrobeat is moving. Yeah. So, yeah. It's fantastic exactly. how you've moved. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. So speaking about, you know, you're in your music space, right? You've worked with oh, a number of artists you yeah. know, in your label. You had uh, Fino, Fino, you had Chinema. Mm -hmm. uh, which would you say has been your biggest collaboration that you've ever done? My biggest collaboration? Yes. I had this record with Ron Town called Can Hear You. I See, I'm counting my money. Yeah, Can Hear You. Hey. <laughs> so, so. So um, I made I made that we made that record I think 2016. We made that record before Mad Over You. Mm. Yeah, we, we made it. In fact, the elements of Mad Over You was in that record. Was, it was taken from, from that, that record. record. Yes, you understand. But I mean, it's all love. It's it's um, Ronta and I grew up in the same city in Enugu, in the 042. You know, and, 042. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. So I met him through Fino. Um, yeah. So that that's a big record. That's that's. Music I've made, I made a lot of money from that record, that particular <laughs> record. You met Ronta and Tr Trufino? Yeah, I met Ronta and Trufino. Yeah, mm. he and Fino were buddies and they were hanging out at the same time when I met Fino. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Fino and I introduced him to me and said, yo, that's, that's Douglas. We, we call him Douglas. Yeah, oh, but, but I mean, okay. Ronta is, is a stage name. He's a stage name. name. Yeah, and then but he was people don't know him, Douglas. Yeah, it's Douglas. Yeah. But if I boss them, no, no, I call him Ron, I call him Ron Town. Ron Town. No, I don't do that first name basis. Oh, I, I, I like to, you know, call people call by, their by, their, by their names. The name they want to be called. Yeah, the names they prefer to be called. Because mm -hmm. I know people that come to me and they're like, Hey, Tobe Chuku, how are you? They want, they want everybody to know that. They know your they know you. names. Yeah, it, it's, um, some people are like that. They don't mm -hmm. mean any harm. But some people are just cloud chasing, essentially, with that. Yeah, with mm -hmm. that. But, Familiarity kind of thing. Yes, familiarity. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so, so that's mm -hmm. uh, that's can't hear you as a ah Jawan Liar with mm -hmm. Ricardo and Mr. Easy. Jawan Liar. Yeah. Was it was a one, massive yeah. record for me as well. Bank a lot was a massive record as well. Mm. So it's I've been pre I've been you fortunate been in this you, business. You, 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 yeah. You've done some, really some big records. Pretty man. pretty record. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As an OG now, you mm -hmm. talk with authority because of the fact that you've done a lot for people. You've put people on. Put, put, People on, yeah. like for example, now uh, you know how you pull uh, Fino on, Chidima Ch 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 on, and other artists mm -hmm. as well, and you being the CEO as well. 
the new stands of this new artist, the IGs now, the new artist and the type of things they sing about, drugs, sex, those people have always sung about sex, mm -hmm. but drugs, constant drugs, sex, <laughs> and um, other things. <laughs> Recently, likes of Blackbone said he went for a concert and a lot of elite were there yeah. and they couldn't vibe to the lyrics of, of, his, his, of, his, of his song. I feel like there is uh, a detachment from the idea of songs or it depends on what the artist just wants to sing. Music is consumed by by different demogra like the demography for music is very widespread. So mm -hmm. it's just sadly in Nigeria um, it tends to feel like most times everything is in one direction. Yeah. yeah. Everything is one direction and that's just the power of of youth. They've taken control of the sound. Uh, yeah. So even the, the older audience they tend to just key in. Mm -hmm into the melodies yes. and into the vibe, the energy, yes. without necessarily breaking down the content of the music. Mm -hmm. So when it's Amona, really, you mm -hmm. know, everybody's on it. When it's Twe, 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 everybody's mm -hmm. on it. Then, mm -hmm. you know, but when you perform it live and sometimes the people are seated there and they're hearing the words and it hits them, then they realize, okay, this is anti this. this what is, I believe in, This yeah. is pro. Uh, um, substance yeah. abuse this is the, so just when people get around to the lyrics they find out eventually that yeah. it, it's not uh, it's not quite as positive as as, as it, it should be but i'm also not even the guy that will claim that every song out should be positive, positive. because yeah. it, it's how the artist feels mm -hmm. you feel mm -hmm. a certain way you put out the music you know in in that way but at some point you hang yeah it will hang that whole idea of just being carefree and being um, just carefree and laid back, it, it just doesn't work all the time. How did you feel about it when Chidima was moving from um, normal secular music mm. to gospel music? A lot of people don't know Chidima came from the choir. From the choir, exactly. She yeah. came, that's, she came that's from, actually Chidima it. came from, yeah. from the choir to audition for a reality mm -hmm. TV show. I can't mm -hmm. mention the name on this show. And she won that show. And when she won that show, I was a production manager for that show. Mm -hmm. um, so I saw her from audition stages to how she grew through the show for 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. And then when she won, that was around the same time I was leaving the company. I was resigning to go and start working for myself. Mm -hmm. I started trying to break down how the brand was going oh, to be accepted. So it was you all along? <laughs> no, it, it wasn't just me. Okay. It was myself and a very good friend of mine called Clarence Peters. Mm. Oh, Clarence. So Clarence and I were going to a partnership and we decided so far, I mean, the very initial looks, remember Fino with the ghost mode hair? Yeah, With the anamachical hair? That, that was myself mm -hmm. and Clarence. Mm. The, mo the whole mohawk and yeah, tattoos yeah, and yeah. everything, yeah. you know? And Chidima's look, Chidima had Always. the sweet... Sweet, yeah. Sweet, sweet 16. Girl. She looked yes, like a, a little... The girl next door. The girl next door. Yeah. And then... And then we told her, we can't cope with all these expensive weaves that we're yeah. putting weaves on your hair you, and then your, pet, your petite. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is that we need to cut this hair and keep it curly mm. so that you can look like Diana King, mm. you know, so you can look. So there were always references. Packaging. No, it's, it's packaging funny. and it, please don't call it packaging. No. Call it artist development artist because development. a lot of people skip this part mm -hmm, they true. skip this part and just run true. into the industry and get hit songs yes uh, but yes. they get hit songs but the songs are bigger than they're them. bigger than them mm. and then it's hard for them to sustain no, it's, it. it's so difficult yes, it's really yeah. in terms of her music we started out um, we were like okay let's make inspirational music mm -hmm. let's make music that's not vulgar mm -hmm. you know up until one day i was working on my second album and we made a song called emini bola Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. 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 Speaker. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out again to another another good friend of mine, Suspect. All of that stuff you saw Chidima doing in all those times where she would just change and be out of character mm. and just move into a more Yoruba. Raz, 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 you know, it was Suspect. He was just the guy at the back end saying, oh. try this, okay. try this. And she tried and she would love it. And her notoriety started to grow. Mm. People started liking yeah, it. Yeah, I started to like her for that, you know. But I always knew she would go back to God's music. Mm. I always knew she would go back to church because, so yeah, recording Emini Bola on a Saturday, but on Saturday evening, the same day, result. she needs to go, go to the choir. choir she practice. needs to go for choir practice. <laughs> yeah, so it was a bit conflicted, but oh, okay. in that period where she had her run, she had a beautiful, she had a beautiful run. run. She did. Yeah, she she did. Beautiful run. Remember the remix, Emini Bola with Whiskey as well? With Wiz. 
Ah, that was fire, man. Yeah. It's, it's, those, yeah. oh, those songs opened doors for yeah, This it is it even KDK came first. Mm -hmm. You didn't make my heart go. KDK okay. oh, yeah. blew up in way before a lot of mm -hmm. people could mm -hmm. access mm -hmm. Africa. Yeah. Chidema was already touring. She was. Yeah. Senegal, she was. Equatorial Guinea. She was, you know. Doing so good. Doing amazingly well. That's right. That's <laughs> right. All right. Talking about your body of work that yeah. just dropped. came out. Just mm -hmm. dropped. Popping. Just dropped. Yeah. Have full chest. Full chest. <laughs> yes. Big color. Big color. Yeah, Fave is on the song. Fave. Uh, who else again? Uh, Fave is on um, Peace of Mind. That's that's what that song's called. Mm, um, like a record that she will be no, it's incredible. Fave, <laughs> Fave's like amazing. That chick is so talented. Eh? Mm -hmm. She, she um, is. It's crazy. Um, Vector and Molade are on a song called Successful. Mm. You like that record? Tell a guy you are successful. Oh. Hundred bottles for the successful. No, it's 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 a baller record. Oh my god! You understand? Goodness. I always have those kind of records mm -hmm, on my albums. Mm -hmm. Kobams is on two records. Okay. He's on Spirit. Legend. Spirit, yeah, the legend Kobams are so is on Spirit. Kobams and Made Kuti yeah. are on oh, Spirit. Yeah, yeah. Kuti. and nice. then um, Kobams is on Male. Male is a song I dedicated to my mom. Okay. So my brother's Umo Bilibo from the South. Those guys Umo are deities. I can't wait. I can't yeah. wait to hear that one. That's Arakas. the one I'm really interested it's in. It's called Chikwebuka. It's a high life record. Yes, Chikwebuka is there. Tenny is on Oh My God. Tenny, yes. yeah, oh Tenny, my God. Tenny is on Oh My God. Yeah. I also gave opportunities for younger artists. Mm. Artists that are still building up. Oh, like who? Yeah. Popping. There's a girl called Yukel. Yukel is on Gen Z. Okay. On a record called Gen uh, Z. Okay. Deborah Prest is on a song I called i remember she's incredible okay. like she's she's from, she's from benin she grew up in benin okay. yes she's on that as, as well this is my 11th project if i'm right yeah Hope what's I'm, the name of the I'm project counting. it's called sidekai sidekai does this sound japanese no it's like something from the bible sidekai the book of sidekai <laughs> my children's names are sochikaima and kachim side Oh. So so you, yeah, so it's a coin. It's it's a, a, yeah. My older daughter is Sochi Kaima, so Kai, mm -hmm. the Kai there is yeah. Kaima. Then Side, so it's Side Kai. So yeah. their, their pictures are the cover. Oh. Yes, so the, 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 the cover of the album is mm -hmm. just two of them standing on, on the table at home and wearing headphones. The picture is very symbolic mm -hmm. because this is God's biggest gift to me as a human. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So I felt it was time for the music to not just be about me. Yeah. I've been on all my album covers. Each, yeah. which every album that came out, every EP that came out, it was mm -hmm. me. I just felt it was time to just change artistic direction yeah. and also use their pictures as a symbol of hope for people. There's so many people out there that are still looking for kids. Yes. So many people out there that have kids and abuse their kids mm -hmm. and don't understand the beauty of being a father, the or beauty of being a parent. So, yeah. so it's a personal album for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's 16 songs. I can't wait. To the feedback that. I got first two days on that album, I was looking at my audio mark and my Spotify numbers. I see, ah, so this is what this Gen Z artist are enjoying. Like chopping. Ah, no, Illy, don't ever give this kind of gaffy music again. Because my era didn't come with a lot of mm. streams and streaming, streams and yes, splits and everything. Yes, so yes. I've migrated into that era and I'm not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Like chopping that streaming money. I'm about to go and be playing that record back to back to back <laughs> to back. Thank you. So when you're just saying, ping, 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 just know it's coming from Kim's phone. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're going to be going on a short break right now. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, we're about to have some fun on set. Stick around. Stick around. Welcome back guys, it's still training break to you by Airtel. We still have the Oga boss himself, Iblis, the building, Kim and I also on set. We're about to play some more games. What are we doing? Yes, we are about to play some more games mm -hmm. and this game is called a trivia game. A trivia, trivia game. game. You know, Iblis' okay. brain is hot, so we have to just give him this one. <laughs> <laughs> trivia is okay. Yeah. I'll course. try, I'll try. Are you ready? Yes. What year was King of Boys released? Give us the date, month, hey, and the hey, year. Redell, you're yeah. inside. <laughs> no, no, no. You guys can't do this. Which one? King of Boys 1 or yes. King of Boys 2? King of Boys 1. 1, 1. 2020. I think King of Boys 1? 1, yes. It was 2020 okay. because the next one was 2022. 
August 2022. Are you looking at me? Yeah, I'm looking at you like Kemi Adetiba. I think it's 2020. I think so. 2020? Yes, the 2020, the first. That's when King of Boys was released. Is that your final answer? In COVID, when you were at home? No, it wasn't 2020. It was. 2019. I'm so sorry. It was 2019. Mm, are you sure? Yes. Is that your sure? final yes, answer? For the first, that's my final answer. The next question. What year was the first Hades held? 2004. Hmm. I think it was 2004. Hmm. Yes. You're I think. close but not there. Yeah. 2004. It was 2006. 2006. That's how one first one. You were close. You were the very close. The first one. Yeah. The next question is, who is the Nigerian artist who performed at the Ballon d'Or 2023? Let me see. Let's go. Rema. Ah, ha. Yes, there's Rema. I knew, I knew it was there. No, I knew it huge, was there. Huge Rema fan. Mm -hmm, huge, mm -hmm. huge. Okay. Yeah. What is mm. the full meaning of NDLEA? National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. If is it, was, it national or Nigerian? If it was a book. I think it's national. It's national or Nigerian. Yeah. Should I walk you off this set, Pascal? <laughs> 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 it's national. As long as it's book, if this will get it. Ah! What is the name of the 50 Cent's first album? Get Rich or Die Trying. Aftermath slash Shady Records. Come on. Yes. Is it a big rich style? <laughs> mm. yeah. I just come from the I just come from, from the, the poorest, poorest part. part. You got, you got. Yeah, there's a lot of people there. Yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, guys, we've come to the end of this games. We're gonna quickly go into the picture of video of the picture of video of the look Let's at the screen. Your, oh, cool. Ah, the boss himself. <laughs> He's giving picky blinders. Yeah. Yeah, as in the peaky hat. Yeah. Uh, oh my God! Where did you wow, find wow. this picture? It's this like, is wow. definitely Facebook. There is no joy in this world. It has to be. Only in the next. What year was this? <laughs> can, can you tell what year this was? This must have been 2002. This is for the Headies. It was a hip hop world magazine shoot. Oh, okay. Yes, that's where this picture came from. Okay, I can see the world there actually. Yes, I know Jim yeah. Silas was the one that auditioned, wow. that, 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 that curated the shoot. Wow. Jesus Christ. You've always had a very mean look. It was very rap, mean. it was hip-hop, like, man. It was hip-hop, you had to have that, uh, had to be uh, tough. That kind of thing. Yeah. To if be not, tough. what will happen? They'll beat you. We just but didn't want to be like vulnerable. <laughs> we just didn't want to be vulnerable. And <laughs> ah, this was, jeez, <laughs> man, this was... Oh my goodness. This was before youth service? Wow. Huh. This was me, man, in the southeast. Yeah. Thinking of Lagos, so like. Picture, yeah, mm, you're gonna to come to Lagos. Out. I need to come here. And when I put it up, I put it up some years back and people laughed their, their Really? I think off, it's yeah. actually a good looking picture. I don't think it's bad. Yeah, it's like it's this mean good, college. It's, like, it's just yeah. like uh, college uh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> kinda. That was young me, man. Mm -hmm. Wow, I wish That's I could fun. tell this guy some things now. What would you tell him? He'll, move, tell he'll him? move differently though. But what would you have told him? Ah, uh, see, see, yeah. I don't remember this picture. Oh, yeah. Oh, and this last time, I started making play money here. Right yeah, now. Making money yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so thank you. much thank for coming so on the show, Ilbis. Thank you, thank yeah. you so you know, much. It's been an amazing time. It's thank you for having time. me on. on this having the boss here with us. Thank you. Thank it's you so only, much. It's Thank greatness. You. Every know, time I do greatness trending, in our midst. every time I do trending is always epic. It's always yeah. incredible. So, but this one, this one yeah. is different though. This set is different. This set is People. is amazing. Yeah. It, it's, this is the first time I'm space <laughs> the new trending um, studio. Uh, it's incredible. It's, it feels feels bigger. Yeah. I've shot trending everywhere in Hip TV. You know me. You know me. You know me. I walk here. So I've yes. seen trending. In, in corridors, against walls. It was yeah. now you, it's a whole, it's dedicated to you guys, yes. your whole space, and it just feels much more comfortable, yeah. you know, and incredible. And I, I just wish you guys all the luck as you Thank continue you. to keep this show Thank you. Thank you. on, because I know what it takes to keep yeah. this show Thank going. You so much. Thank you, know? you so much. Keep, keep, Thank keep you so growing. much for your kind words. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming so on the show to we the boss. It. Yeah, you guys know his body of work just dropped. Mm -hmm. So keep streaming, keep showing the love. Yes. Show the love, all right, the numbers. Yes. Throw his flowers are here. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. My name is Il Bliss, Oga Boss. Mm -hmm. And I'm right here live from the Trending Studios on at Trending. Hit TV. Mm -hmm. My new album, CD Kai, just dropped. It's available on all digital platforms. Curious. Audio Mac, Spotify, YouTube Music. Mm -hmm. Everywhere, just go get it, boom play, etc. etc. You go 
stream it let's make hip-hop great again exactly how yes. does it feel like saying on all digital platforms could you say that back in the days how <laughs> How are, you, did you about what? Say we are doing How are you going to do it? No, no, no. You were just going to give it to the radio Yo, station. Radio station the and, flowers, and, um, man. and hope for the best. All right, guys. Thank you and for I always you tuning too. in. Thank you. My name is Kim Opera. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms. On Instagram, it's official Hip TV. On X and YouTube, is at Hip TV. And my name is Pascal. Always remember as well, the trending is from 9 a.m. in the morning and 8 p.m. the repeat version. Do not miss any part of that one. Also, channel 324 on DSTV and 22 on GoTV. All right, guys, don't forget to keep it moving.